Now I'm not so sure about the keel part, but we're certainly going to haul it in today's video, as Pirate Man stage is one of the shortest in the game. Hope your stopwatches are waterproof. Let's go! Now I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit burnt out on commentary still, so you know what? Turnabout is fair play. We're going to use the Wave Burner first. After all, it's the only weapon that can take out the spines, at least when they're topside. Once you drop it in the drink, the burner part of Wave Burner no longer works, and instead this weapon will allow you to shoot a sonic wave of wind, which you can use to push enemies away from you. It's perfect for getting those mines out of the way. While non-lethal, they are still nonetheless annoying. And you have a choice of two paths here, but really, you don't, because only Mega Man can take the underwater route. So take base up and over all the trouble with his dash double jump combo, and sure enough, paths join up pretty darn quickly. Ice Wall also works differently in the water, as it will rise up to take out bows. Of course, the one drawback to using the Ice Wall underwater is that you can no longer push it, but as you saw, that poor pirate robot had no problems with getting popped by it. Nope. There's one other enemy we're going to need to use the Ice Wall on. Well, I shouldn't say need, but it really makes things go quicker. And once we take care of the squid, we'll see him face to face. It's the Hog Ale Whale. Take him out and then dash out of this room as quickly as you can because he will respawn on you. The expansive area is home to a lot of mines. You'll want to push those out of the way with the Wave Burner. Now there are bubble machine makers from Tengu Man's stage for Mega Man 8 in here, as well as a lot of spikes below. So let's just avoid that, double jump up, and see that we're already at the shutter. Yeah, I love it when a stage goes that quickly. And thankfully, our next boss is pretty simple, too. Now granted, it's not base's usual MO of fighting bots, but you want to get up in Pirate Man's face and then start to walk away as he tosses the remote mines at you. If you keep going away and then up and over back to where you started, you will be able to keep him in a pretty simple pattern throughout this entire fight. Now one thing to note is that Pirate Man will try to get into a bubble. If you take too long in popping it with your buster, he is going to make Armored Armadillo look like a sloth as he bounces all the way around the room. You can, however, destabilize that attack even as it's going on with the Wave Burner. There's even a funny animation for it, although we aren't going to get to see it in this fight because it's practically almost over. I would say that Pirate Man's stage and boss fight are the easiest in the game. And that's why we didn't take a single hit. Let's power on up and get on out of here, because I just kicked your booty, Pirate Man. Oh, yeah. Let's never talk like that again. Remote Mine, as the name implies, is a manually controlled explosive. While it's kind of a waste to use it on small fry like the Mets and Tellies you see here, it is perfect for taking out bigger enemies, much like the Ice Wall is. I really enjoy this weapon. Okay, that's three stages down, and that's a good thing for us, because this means Otto is going to have some new items in the shop to look at. And thankfully we have more than enough bolts to purchase something that I've been wanting to get for a while now. So, before we get it set up for our next uh, video, let's go take a look at what he's got. Okay, let's go over the second row of items pretty quickly here. The first one is the Enemy Analyzer. It's an add-on for the comm system that allows Roll to tell you boss's weak points. At least that's what I think it does. I've never actually purchased it. Super Recover restores more health, of course. Now the Counter Attacker is great for Mega because when your health gets low, your attack power will increase. Perfect for his Mega Buster. The other three items are base only. The Hyper Speed or High Speed Dash, I'm not sure which, which allows you to dash faster. The Step Booster, which returns from Mega Man 8 and allowing you to climb ladders faster kind of pointless for base. And then we have the godsend known as Treble Boost. That item will allow base to join up with Treble like he did in Mega Man 8 and fly all around areas. That's nice and all, but today's item purchase is the Energy Balancer, so I don't have to micromanage my weapon energy as much. I love that item. I'm sorry for talking over you there so much, Otto, but we had a lot of ground to cover today in your shop. We're also going to have a lot of ground to cover in our next video, because we are heading to where the Terra is not so firma. 
Brown Man's up next, and I will see you there.